but you don't have the courage to do it. You got three people in front of you. You see it going on. Do you step up and do something about it? Or do you just let it happen? Let her take a couple things out of the cart, check out, go. My GM's got to go live every day. Your GM's got to be, listen, we still got to sell cars. I get it. A customer's there. They buy a car. We ring the bell. Everybody on the showroom floor goes Facebook live. Woo! Three minutes later, we're all back to work. It took three minutes. That customer gets to experience something they'll never forget. Nine out of 10 people already bought a car somewhere else. You think they've ever had something like what happened with Sonia earlier happen on a showroom floor? No way. Nobody ever cheered on a client who bought a car in a showroom floor like that. It doesn't exist. She'll never buy a car anywhere else. Never. She can't. Okay? We, we literally took her soul. She'll never be able to buy a car anywhere else again. When she leaves, she'll tell everybody about us. I guarantee she's calling people right now saying, you can't believe what happened to me today. Now she shared it on her page. We've all got it on our page. If anybody knows you, they know that you sell cars. And everybody that we get, we have to tag. Look, can I get some courage? And I'm about done here. Can I get some courage? Can I get some guts? Some damn guts? When you know something's right, look, you see a lady at the grocery store and she's paying for her groceries, right? And she's got all the stuff bagged up and the lady says, it's gonna be $18. And then she's like, I've got 14. And you see the lady starting to pull some stuff out, trying to get it to $14. You know what I'm saying? Because she put too much in the basket. You know, you're sitting there you're like, you know, I should probably just pay for her stuff, right? But you don't have the courage to do it. You got three people in front of you. You see it going on. Do you step up and do something about it? Or do you just let it happen? Let her take a couple things out of the cart, check out, go. And then you're like, man, I could have stepped in but I didn't have the courage to do it. You see something, you stop whatever you're doing and you do it. I want that same thing to happen in our dealerships. A lady walks by, gets a bag of popcorn. Guess what happens? How's that popcorn? Good? Woo! Let's take a picture with some popcorn. Who's got the best popcorn in the world? Right here. Guys, what's going on? I'm right here with little Junior Burkheimer. He said we got the best popcorn in the country. Listen, you want some free popcorn? Come down here. I'll give you as much as you want. Bring your little crazy kids down here. Tell them we got uh, uh, pony rides, flags are flying, any, anything you want. But free popcorn. Come down here. My name's Andy. Shoot me a text. Let me know you're on your way. Hell, while you're eating the popcorn, I'll wash your car for free. Guess what? People start showing up. They're like, man, I've seen you every day. I've seen you and I've watched you in the shadows for six weeks going live every day being funny. And I'm here today because I just want to say hi. Boom, they buy a car off of them. They'll never buy a car off anyone else or you'll be out to dinner. Guess what? They'll walk by, you're the car guy, aren't you? I know exactly who you are. That's what I need in this room, guys. I'm looking for total domination. Our playbook, our social media playbook that we created for your company is deadly and it's dangerous only if it's used. Would everybody agree? All right. So here's what I want to do. I want you to just look at yourself tonight and say, have I given 110% or is there more? I want you to think, have I been the reason? Have I truly, have I been the reason why we haven't grown? Have I actually stopped people from growing because of my mouth? Have I talked negative about training or social media? Or have I said to my favorite employee, because you know, me and him are boys, right? You know, I'm a manager, he's my sales guy, me and him are boys, and I'm like, bro, you, you don't have to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just let everybody else do it. You don't have to do it. You just ruined the whole program for the whole company. Good job, man. Good job on letting people slide. Isn't it a shame? That's how companies lose. I have a rule at my company, okay? Things change all the time. They change all the time, all the time. It's constantly changing. Social media, marketing, Facebook algorithms, everything changes. The way keep people buy, things keep shifting and changing. You know what? You eye roll me in the meeting, you're gone. It's not because I have pride. It's just because you're not with us no more. You're better than us. Go join another company, okay? You walk away and I, feel, I hear you puffing and huffing, like you don't have to do it, you're entitled. Have a nice life. Look, I wanna be around people that are on the same mission as me. I wanna win. We only get one life, guys, we don't get nine. 
Okay, you don't get two wives, you just get one, all right? Are we living it to our fullest? Do you have more to give? Yes. Good, bring it. I'm gonna tell you this, should anybody have to remind you of what you should be doing? The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. The person in this company that's gonna get the next door is the person that can self-correct. You know what that means? You know what to do, do it, okay? And, and use your gut. I, I wanna ask you, this guy right here, clearly he is spending a lot of money right now on social media. The general managers are amazing. The salespeople, as we're teaching them, they love it. It's a little hard, it's uncomfortable, but they love it. They know it's good and they're trying to do the work. The only way that all this would collapse was if I didn't have management support. Without management support, we have nothing. We really don't. So Berkheimer, your stores will double easily in the next 60 days of business. They'll double, I promise you, you'll own the whole market. And if you don't, it'll be because someone in your company doesn't believe. Don't be that person. Just don't be that person. And by the way, I'm grateful. When I say this to you, I'd love to get up here and I'd love to say, hey, to follow Berkheimer, you guys did the best job of your life last year. That's incredible. But you guys know last year's over. Just in case anybody noticed, we're in February and we have to, we have to, we have to answer to this year. Okay? We already celebrated how many times about last year? I mean, for 45 days, we've been celebrating what we did last year. I'm sorry, but if we keep celebrating last year, we're going to get our ass kicked this year and you're going to look up and you're going to be very disappointed.